Previously, we saw that if there's a monopoly in the output market, the value of the marginal product is going to be greater than the marginal revenue product. And with a monopsony resource market, the marginal factor cost will be greater than the wage. So what happens when a firm is the only seller of a product and the only buyer of a resource? How does this affect the price paid for and the quantity of the resource? We know what the marginal revenue product and the value of the marginal product look like. We also know what the supply of labor and the marginal factor costs look like. Remembering that the profit maximizing rule for hiring is marginal revenue product equals marginal factor cost, we can see the amount of labor that will be hired L star. L star workers are willing to provide their labor services for a wage of W star. This monopoly monopsony combination is the worst case scenario for the workers. There is monopsonistic exploitation with the gap between marginal factor cost and wage, and there is monopolistic exploitation with the gap between the value of the marginal product, the market value of the added resource, and the marginal revenue product, the added revenue with the added resource. In the end, many fewer workers are hired than would be the case with perfect competition, and the wage is far lower than the market value of the added product of the workers. Coming up, more lost episodes.